The Mets and Brewers have completed a trade, not necessarily finalized, but it is rumored to be a done deal. Welcome back to Gillis TV. If you're new to the channel, like anything NHL, MLB related, we got it covered here on the channel from trades, news, rumors, whatever there is, all the major pieces of both sports. We got it here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as we are almost to our goal of 500. Thank you guys so much as the last week we've gone up a lot. The Mets are acquiring right-hander Adrian Hauser and outfielder Tyrone Taylor from the Brewers for a minor league minor leaguer and this is coming from Ken Rosenthal of the Athletic the minor leaguer is announced to be right-hander Cole Crow Coleman Crow per Robert Murray of fan sided David Stearns is pretty familiar with Hauser and Taylor having spent many of the years calling the shots in Milwaukee before becoming president of baseball ops for the Mets a couple months ago in both cases the player has had um some major league success but had reached arbitration and was in competition for playing time with Milwaukee. Instead they will head to the Mets club that has been primarily focused on depth new moves this offseason while allowing the Brewers to clear a bit of payroll. Hauser who will be 31 in February has been a solid contributor for the Brewers in the past five seasons. Mostly as a starter from 2019 to present, he appeared in 120 games, 97 of those being starts in his 523 and two-thirds innings pitch. He has an earned run average of 4.04. His 19.2% strikeout rate and 9% walk rate aren't especially strong, but he keeps 52.5% of the balls in play on the ground. So a guy that the Mets could throw in as their fourth fifth starter and is a really good piece to be down there he has the experience in the MLB to do that he has just over five years service time meaning he's slated for free agency after 2024 MLB TR contributor Matt Schwartz projects his salary of 5.6 million next year Hauser might project as merely a back-end starter which I said for sure there in Milwaukee, Hauser was slated to be behind Cor Corbin Burns, Freddie Peralta, and Miley, battling pitchers like Colin Ray, Joe Ross, Jansen Junk, and Aaron Asby for the final three spots. Or two spots, sorry. Um, for Taylor, he will be 30 in January. Seemed to establish himself as a viable big leaguer in 2021 and 2022. He got into 213 games for the Brewers. Over that stretch, hitting 29 home runs, slashing a 239 average for his career. But he dealt with elbow sprain in spring training this year, which caused him to miss the first month of the season and then had another month plus in the middle of the year. He only got into 81 games last season and had diminished production when he was in the lineup, hitting only 234. He reached arbitration for the first time this winter and is projected to make $1.7 million with two years of control beyond that. He was also going to be part of a crowded outfield mix that includes Christian Yelich, Jackson Churro, Garrett Mitchell, Sal Frelick, and Blake Perkins, as long as with Joey Wilmer and Chris Roller. So I pro probably for mispronounced those names. I'm talking too fast. It's been a long day been up for almost 12 hours now so it's been a pretty long day but that is the trade that seems to be done per Ken Rosenthal as Hauser and Taylor will go to the Mets for minor leaguer Coleman Crow heading to the Brewers thank you so much for tuning in I'm Gillis TV I'll catch you on the next one